All right, just got here to Terry. He's got the boat hooked up. Uh, I can't remember the size of it, but it's a, a Legend SS. Real nice. Like I said, he got the live scope. And then he got the cornfield transducer mount here. Where you can swing it about wherever you want to. He's got a 200 Evernood jet on there. So it runs pretty good. So uh, we're going to get everything loaded up and start heading to the lake. Alright, Terry and I just got the boat put in. Real nice out here at the lake. There's not too many people put into this ramp, but uh, we just missed a bass tournament, so it won't be as busy. That's good. We're going to run up north and uh, start messing with that Garmin and see if we can figure it out. So we'll see you up there. All right, so Terry and I ran up river a little ways, found us a little spot so we can, uh, I can learn how to use the trolling motor, and then we're about to start messing with this uh, live scope here. Uh, how to calibrate the trolling motor, how to learn how to do all that. So uh, we're in the learning process. So we haven't done any fishing yet. So probably be another thirty minutes before we even get a put a pole in the water. So those. Those might be good fish right there. Yeah, yeah you're gonna right here. Oh, you lose it? Yeah. So we got fish right Yeah. All right, Terry just caught a little bass here. So we're uh, we're messing with this screen here. So we were sitting here. We saw there's some fish on bottom. So we just started bouncing some minnows. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's like say the first time I've ever fished with uh, with this uh, live scope. I like it. So we'll get back to fishing. You, you got one. You got one. Look at that first drop in your boat. Terry just caught the first crappie of the day. Accidents do happen. Yeah, we've been, like I said, we've been playing with this uh, live scope here, yep. seeing these balls. Ow, of, he me. Oh, he got you good. Yeah, yeah. He's a keeper, definitely. Yeah, I got my first fish of the day here. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Holy cow. Holy cow. You got a net? No, I sure don't. Dang, good job. This makes me wonder if it's dark. I put it on it. All right, we got something big on. Give me a hold that too. Yeah. <laughs> we got a whopper. I don't know what it is. It may be a big drum. It might be. Oh, oh man, I'd like to have seen it. Come off the hook. Man, that was a big one. Boy, that thing fought good. <laughs> yeah, it did. I don't know if it was a catfish or... Well, it might have been. It, yeah, it wasn't really acting like a gar, so I'm not sure what it was. But we're going to get back to fishing here. Yeah. This whopper.
All right, just watch that live on scope there. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, turn your thing to the side. Shoot it right to the side. Yeah, you're trying to stay straight. Let's look and see what it. I got one, definitely. Yeah, I think I'm stuck in a treetop too. Uh, I think it's a treetop. Uh, he may have brought it in there, but I don't think he's on anymore. Got this little guy here. Watched him on the last scope come up right to it and decided to take a bite. Throw him back. Oh, I got a bite. I still got him. You got one? Yep. Still bad. Alright, Terry just caught him another bass. Jump in there. You're going that yeah. direction here. I haven't caught anything in a little bit, so see if we can pull in some crappie, hopefully. Alright, finally caught another crappie here. Alright, we ran back towards the ramp. Uh, we're going to hit some of these crappie beds. Uh, you can't really tell, but there's a little stop sticking up and down through here there's a few of them we're about a quarter mile from the ramp but we got about an hour of daylight left so we're gonna get a little fishing in before we gotta load up maybe we'll catch a few more fishing hasn't been the most extreme but we're still kind of learning this whole thing learning the troll motor and the live scope Terry just caught him a nice one. If I can get it over here. Yeah. We were just talking about, didn't know if uh, these stick beds were hit hard today or not, but that's a, that's a good one there. He's probably about 10, 11 inches. Throw him in the live well. All right, so we're gonna call it a day on fishing. We had a pretty good time. Caught a few fish and uh, learned a tiny bit about the live scope and all that. Maybe next time we'll know more. Fish bigger fish. 
Yep. So at least we did get a few real nice calm out here at the lake now. So we're going to head out and load up. See you next time.